Welcome to Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. 951 now there. We've wasted a good minute. And, uh, and now you're the object of her love. Come on in. Come on in here, Tony. How you doing? How's it going? I heard you're going to kill me off, man. I'm not, I'm not really... Uh... I'm not really in good spirits this morning. Well, Tony, um, you've been a good good character on the WAVA Morning Zoo almost since the inception, though, over two years now. Yeah, I know. It's... Here's it. Maybe you've petered out. You've run your course. Yeah, right, go ahead. Kill me, man. I can take a bullet. Go ahead. I'll stand right here. Just blow me away. No well, problem. let's see if any women are calling for this set edition of Four Women Only. No problem, man. I can deal with it. Hello, good morning, WAVA. Yes, um, Tony, if a woman... A woman! It's a woman you're saved, Tony! You mean one? Thank you, ma'am. I really... I don't like to cry, man, but I was really scared for a minute there. Thank you. You're a nice broad for calling in, man. I really appreciate it. Well, I felt kind of sorry for you. So. Bless, bless you, baby. I really appreciate it. You want to do dinner sometime? I'll buy you a nice dinner at Denny's. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. If a woman were to ask you out on a date, where would you want to go? Probably Denny's, drive-in, or, uh, you know, one of the big theaters, take her to a nice movie like RoboCop or something like that. And then uh, if we like each other, you know, it's uh, hop in the old rack of at the end of the evening uh, for a night of playtime. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you Gymnastics? Yeah, that's my dream day. Thanks for calling and saving my life, doll. Uh, All right. Bye. <laughs> nice broad. Good morning, WAVA. Oh, it's John. John, hey, John Ingle. This is a funny joke. I like that. Hello, Power 105. Yes, um, what is this? Okay, there's a guy that lives, like, down the road from me. And I gave him, I put my phone number on his door and everything. And he called, but he's not talking to me anymore. Okay, I got a piece of advice for you, okay? Does he live close by? Yeah. Okay, in the morning when you get out of the shower, freshen yourself up, do your hair, look real good, like get a curling iron, do your eye makeup, put the robe on, nothing else on it, okay? <laughs> Knock on his door. He comes to the door and go, yo, and just open the bathrobe. It works every time. Trust me. If he's a normal human being, you can't miss with that one. You're going to score. Trust Tony D. I guarantee you there won't be no problem, all right? Okay, Thanks thanks. for calling. Hey. <laughs> time, time just for one more. One more, all right. On yeah. this edition of four... For women only. Hello there. And well, we gotta wait for somebody else to call. Oh man, now you're gonna kill me again. There's somebody on hold. Come on, man. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hello there. How you doing? Hi, Tony. What's happening? Uh, I need to know what to do when you don't have a love life. When you don't have a love life, you just gotta go looking for it. I like. Uh, have you ever been to restaurant and lounge? Yeah. What, what, what do you mean, restaurant and lounge? Restaurant and lounge, man. There's a restaurant and lounge just down the road from where I live. It's a really nice place. It's got restaurant and lounge. That's the name oh, of the you place. You mean the Holiday Inn? It says Holiday no, and no, then Holiday, restaurant. Holiday, Smiley Day, man. It's got restaurant and lounge. That's where I go and I like to hang out, okay? So that's where you go, pick up a guy and uh, look good. Like put on some really tight pants, maybe spandex and a nice tight blouse or a sweater. And no problem. You get a guy real quick. I wouldn't look too good, Tony. How much you weigh? Uh, I'd rather not say. Oh, come on. You can share Over 300. Okay, let me, let me tell you this. All right. I weigh 202. I now weigh 178. 170? How tall are you? I'm 5'5". Five five. Jeez, I got to go. <laughs> See you later. Nice chat with you. Bye -bye. Goodbye, my dear. Hey, hey where are, you, are you really that lonely? She Hello? Hung, she hung up, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm so desperate. I'm so desperate. You are the lonely guy. It's 9.54. <laughs> well, you people saved a life this morning. You should be, be congratulated. Thank you. I don't know if that bit's ever coming back, but Tony D's not dead. It's 9.54. And we thought he was dead, but he's still alive. Yeah. Actually, really special K. Mm -hmm. And the Days of Our Lives update. And then, the end of the show. Next. Why, why are you doing that? What? Don't take that personally. What? Doing what? About the Tony D thing. The, uh, the nervous way that you're playing with your cola top there. Well, Tony D and I are very close. You know, you say he's not coming back. It, it, it bothers me. Well, he'll, he's coming back. Just that particular bit, I don't think is going to... Now there's people on... Now there's... You want to talk to Tony D? Yeah. Well, well, where were you ten minutes ago? Well, I'm for God's sakes, I almost put a bullet in the man's head. Well, wait a minute. I'm from Cambridgeburg, Pennsylvania. I've been trying to call him for ten minutes. See? <laughs> All right. Tony. Tony. Anthony. Anthony. Come here, Anthony. Yeah, what do you want? What? Well, she, this guy wanted to talk to you. Right, I'll talk to her. What do you want? I'm, uh, what, they're going to kill me, man, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's like, am I alive? Am I dead? What's the story? What can I do for you? I was wondering how you juggle two men at the same time, and the other one doesn't find out about the other, especially if you're sleeping together. You change perfumes, and you shower with nice hot water and soap, and be sure and wash under your armpits. <laughs> there you go, ma'am. Mm. <laughs> nice guy. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 9.55 at WAV. Oh, and look at that. Hello, you want to talk to Tony, too? Yeah, sure. Um, well, now, where were, where were you ten minutes ago? I was listening. Tony! 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 Tony. Anthony! Anthony! Anthony.
somebody call my name? Boy, yeah, what can I do for you, bro? Hi, babe. Um, I'd like to know, um, I went out on a date with a guy last week, and I really want to see him again. Shall I find him up and ask him out? You don't got a chance, you know why? Why? You come from a foreign country. Say no more. Yeah. I gotta go. See you later. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am, he's gone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> 9.56 yes. Who says violence doesn't work Or the threat of violence mm -hmm. It brought out the best in you people Thank you <laughs> WAVA 4 till 10 I can't believe how easy it was I thought I'd have to shop four or five stores To find what I wanted So the furniture you found But it's not misery that loves company Hey! <laughs> oh, hi Jay That was my heart pounding with passion We got it made We got it made Tonight at 7.30 Only on Channel 4 Thank you Mac McGarry Zach Ackley, 10 o'clock. Here's Arch. Mac McGarry, it's academic. W-A-V-A Arlington, Washington's music power. Hello, Special K. Hey, dude, how you doing? Fine, you watched it yesterday? Yes, sure did. Well, let's hear it then. All right, laying that J, I am Special K with another update on your favorite soap opera and mine. Days of my lives. Well, yesterday's episode, Patrick's mom, Joel, came, came to Slim's place trying to ball Shorty out for living with Kayla because Shorty's still married to Jack, right? Meanwhile, Dr. Horton got all decked out in his beatnik outfit. Fit and went out and went off to that young poet Joan to do that uh, thing at the uh, new club, right? Did you beat Nick outfit? Yeah, he, he had on his beret and uh, his little goatee and everything. Was it a raspberry beret? No, it was green, I think. It was pretty stupid, okay. actually. And finally, Kayla got taken for bad by the young reporter who busted her out uh, about Jack and uh, her and Patsy, but she broke Shorty's tape joint, right? So, will Kayla ever pr press charges against Jack? I don't know. And when will Mrs. Horton find out about Dr. Horton? Being a beatnik? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and it's Bobby Jones, a mere surplus character. I don't know. Y'all yes. find out tomorrow, summary of Days of Our Lives. Y'all stay alive. Keep the job. Oh, darn it. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hi. I two things. Yeah. I just want to see the shit put upon the put chair set. Uh, isn't that special? And what else? And, well, I was going to call and say this new show is over, but you're not over yet. Well, yes, we are. <laughs> but we don't do that anymore with the zoo shows over. Over? Did somebody say it's over? Yeah, we just picked up the phone to chat, basically, and give you a chance to give us your tongue twister. Oh, good. Would you repeat that again for us? I, I want Mike to do it. I slid a sheet of shit and put upon a slid a chair set. I don't really think I should try that right now. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. Are you wearing curlers? Oh, oh. And smoking <laughs> menthol cigarettes? And wearing those big fuzzy slippers? <laughs> and eating bonbons? It's almost time for win, lose, or draw. <laughs> <laughs> and you have fantasies about Bob Barker, am I right? <laughs> well, that one's right, yeah. <laughs> See, I know. Thank you. Bye -bye. You know why? Because he's got that giant microphone he carries with him. You ever seen that microphone Bob Barker <laughs> carries on the... It's a long one. It's not... I don't want to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> we got to run. They're not booing. They're yelling, no! The siege is over. Uh, Lou is back. Lou is back. He's coming up next. And Special K, the station that most of us in this room are still gainfully employed at? No job. 105 WAVA. Thanks and so, so long, everybody. You know, ladies and gentlemen, not to blow my own horn, but that is top-notch comedy. <laughs> and speaking of my own horn, there you go. People never cease to amaze me.